Hello friends, we are Office Techno LLP. We are the advanced partners for Zoho. We have developed this WhatsApp transactional tool for Zoho Books, through which any transactions that, that you create in your Zoho Books will be sent to the WhatsApp of your customer. Now let's move forward and show you that how we can use this tool to send the messages. Please note that the same tool can also be used for Zoho inventory. So let me move ahead and open this tool first. This is a basic WhatsApp tool and uh, it has a simple interface. On the top, you see WhatsApp. Click on WhatsApp, click on sender. As soon as you click on sender, this window will pop out. Okay. And it will have a QR code. All you need to do is from your mobile WhatsApp number, scan this QR code and link your WhatsApp to this number, to this tool rather. Now, once this tool gets connected, we can send trans transactional messages from Zoho Books to your customers. Now, in the same, uh, same laptop, I have opened another Chrome in which I have uh, linked my colleague's number. So all the transactions that will be sent through WhatsApp to my colleague, it will be displayed here. I will show you how exactly that works. So we have linked all, all the uh, details and we have linked the mobile number to this particular tool. Now let's open Zoho Books. This is our Zoho Books demo account. So we'll show you that what happens when an estimate is created. You see this particular estimate. And uh, if, if you check the details, whenever we create an estimate, we put the required details of the customer. Now this ABCL private limited customer contains my colleague's mobile number. So I will create a transaction for this customer and it will be sent to the WhatsApp number of my colleague. Put in all the required details for estimate, select the item, put the quantity and also the rates. Once you do that, as soon as you click on save and you send this message, it will be immediately sent to the customer. That is my colleague moving forward let's create an invoice now now let's check the details of invoice which was already created we have created this invoice for the same customer that is abcl private limited normally as you fill in the details fill in all the details for your invoice put the item put the quantity with the rate and as soon as you click on save and as soon as you send the message the transaction will be sent to abcl private limited so now let's see how it appears on the customer's mobile number now this is the estimate that we created for the customer abcl private limited and in here, it, the text message shows the estimate number and the other content that was put in. Now, this content is, is editable and customizable as per your requirement. It also has a PDF of the estimate that was sent. And we also created an invoice. Here is the invoice message. Thank you for the business. It has the invoice number, invoice amount, date, and the total outstanding amount of this particular customer, ABCL Private Limited, along with the PDF of the invoice. So this is how the tool works. Now let's move forward and show you for which modules in Zoho Books we can integrate this tool. So we open here the sales module. Under sales module, whenever a customer is created, a welcome note will be sent to the customer on their WhatsApp. 
when you create an estimate, we already showed you how the transaction has been sent. Same goes for sales order, delivery challenge, invoices, payment received, sales return, and credit note. Now let's go to purchase module. For purchase module, when you onboard a vendor, you onboard a vendor, a welcome note will be sent to the WhatsApp. Expenses are recorded into your account. A note will be sent. Same goes for purchase order, bills, payments made, and vendor credits. Apart from this, what we can do an automation on the system is we can send auto statements. That is, we can send statements to the customers automatically every month. This can be sent set from the back end from our development team. And every month, the statement will be sent from the WhatsApp number of the customer. Not just this, there is also an approval flow that could be set. Let's say that you are an owner of a company. You are not in office today. And uh, your employee in the company creates an estimate with an amount more than 5 lakhs. Now, as per the structure of your company, any estimate that is created over 5 lakhs needs your approval. So what we can do here, the automation is the customer, your employee creates an estimate and sends it to you on your WhatsApp. You can check the estimate and approve the estimate from WhatsApp. So this is also an automation get that can be set on the system. Now let me show you what are the templates and how they appear. Now these are the templates available with WhatsApp tool. We have invoices, sales order, credit notes, purchase order, payments made, etc., etc. We give a default one template for each module with the subscription of WhatsApp, WhatsApp tool. So let me go ahead and edit this invoice template so that you can have a better understanding. This is the WhatsApp text message. These messages are editable as per requirements. We have the placeholders here, like you can select the date, customer name, discount, amounts and words, so on, and design your own template. If you move down, you see that first available contact sent to all this is nothing but whenever you create a customer and uh, if you want the system to send all the send the messages to all the uh, mobile numbers listed then you need to click on send to all and if you want to select if you want to send only the to the first available available number click on first available then moving further we have custom field let's say that uh, when creating an invoice you have a custom field mate in your invoice page as uh, tracking details of the goods. So whenever you update this field, a message will be sent automatically to the customer with the tracking number details. This automation is also possible. Then we have all contacts, as I mentioned earlier, all contacts will be sent the messages. Then we have customer group. Let's say that your organization has uh, a setup in which any transaction you create on your system that is Zoho Books, it should be sent to a particular WhatsApp group. So that is also possible. We can set that group for you. Next, we have the primary customer. This is a fixed group. Okay. What we can do is you select this option, put the name of the group, and it will be sent to that group. It is similar to the group that I showed you earlier. Now we have a fixed mobile number. Any transaction you create in Zoho Books, and you put uh, the number here and select the option as fixed mobile, it will be sent to this particular mobile. Similarly, for vendors, we have message sending options through WhatsApp tool for all contacts, groups, primary contact. So this is how you can customize your template and use. Moving forward, let me open the tool. And if you want to check the logs at how many messages were sent, what we can do is click on WhatsApp, click on view logs. As soon as you click on view logs, this window will open up. This window gives you the information of the module through which the message was sent, then the status, 
the date and time, the mobile number to which it was sent, and the text message itself. That is the content of the text message. Above here, you can uh, you have filters. You can select the status and find out the messages as per their statuses. To modules also, invoice, credit notes, payments made, vendors, etc. We can also set uh, the filters again as per the dates and get all the information. On the top right, you see that there are total number of messages as 28 selected at two. This is how we select the message. And run on startup is nothing that it will run on start when you open this tool. Then on the top right, you have a recent button. If you want, if you select all the, of, of, uh, I mean, all the messages, all the logs, and click on recent, it will be sent. If you click on skip, it, the messages will be skipped. If you click on export, it will be exported. This is how the entire log option is available, and you can use it for your reference. Moving further, uh, let me just give you an uh, how explanation of how exactly this tool works. Let's say that. Uh, your your company has installed this tool in one of your computer this is an offline tool that can be installed on your computer and let's say you have 10 users all 10 users are on different location and you have linked your mobile number to this tool to send messages through zoho books so any of your user from any location whenever it whenever he creates an invoice or an estimate or any record in zoho books it will be fired through this particular WhatsApp number that we have connected on your PC. So all the users do not have to use that particular uh, tool and sign in. Only one computer, you can just sign up and connect the number and it will be usable for all. Similarly, in Zoho Books, we can also give you a manual button if you go to invoices as an example, if you want to send the messages only when you desire, and if you do not want to set the automation, then we can give you a manual button. As so as soon as you create the invoice, whenever you feel like sending it, click on this option and we'll give you a button here, which says WhatsApp or somewhere here. If you want to send, click on it and it will be sent through. Now, these are the options available apart from this the customization and integration of this tool is possible with all the apps of zoho books i sorry all the apps of zoho including books inventory crm so on so forth and if you need more information about the pricing and other details you can visit us on office.com or send an email on sales at office.com or send a WhatsApp message on 98251-63956. Greetings from Office. Thank you.